Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. If you are not already subscribed, I would love if you did. We are here to talk tea, baby. More tea, covering the bachelor, well, bachelorettes, let me, you know, whatever. Covering the bachelorettes. So, right now we have two bachelorettes. It is the season ending, which, have you been happy with the season? What do you think of the two bachelorettes? Are you into it? Are you not? What's the tea? Let your girl know. Um, I'm so excited about so many shows to come. New Jersey Housewives is coming back. I will be covering that here. So if you're into the Housewives, strap in your boots because we are going to be covering it, giving our commentary. There's been tea about that too, but that's for another video. Um, oh yeah, make sure to check out my description box. If you click below, of course, click the red subscribe button. We have so much tea coming. I will continue doing shorter um, videos, just like quickly covering tea as it comes for the stuff that I'm interested in, like the Bachelor, Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise, um, Housewives, um, Dancing with the Stars, but there's usually not too much tea about that. I'm just excited for it to come. Um, the Kardashians, of course, so your girl will be covering tea over here as well, so make sure you subscribe. Um, but if you like ASMR, I do some of that here as well, but I also have a main ASMR channel where that's all I do, along with a Patreon where I go into my crazy life and um, more personal details about my life, things I've gone through, past, present, future, along with trigger, 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 trigger videos. So if you're interested, all of that good stuff will be linked down below with my Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all of the above. Okay. So, for The Bachelorette, we have Rachel and Tino situation. There will be spoilers, so if you do not want spoilers, click out right now, and I'll see you in the next video. But if you've already heard and kind of can see what's going down, a lot of the teasers say that they, we don't really know, like, the ending ending. Nobody does, and that's happening this Tuesday, which I'm really excited about, because I, I felt like this season was kind of a... I wasn't that, like, obsessed with it. There wasn't that much, like, exciting things happening. But then all of a sudden, the tea. The tea got spilled, baby. So let's start with Eric and Gabby. So Eric is the only man left standing. And it has come out that Eric, right before he went on The Bachelor, he had already applied, was dating a single mom, spending a lot of time with her and her child, her son. They were dating there was no, like, love bombing like Nate did, um, from, you know, earlier in the season. It wasn't that same situation, but it was a situation where he had applied to be on The Bachelor to look for love, was dating somebody, text her when he decided he was going to go, when he got the call that he was going to go, text her and pretty much told her, like, yeah, I'm really sorry, um, I need to go on The Bachelor, and she was like, isn't that a show to find love? We're in a relationship, like, I don't understand. And he was like, I'm very unhappy with my situation, with my income, with my career, with my life. And if I go on this show, I'll get clout. I'll get better opportunities. Um, it'll be lucrative for me. So pretty much that's why I'm going. And, she, and he was like, it's fake anyways. It's really not about finding love. And this woman showed receipts. Okay. There are receipts. I will list them. Reality Steve dropped the tea. He had a conversation with her. At first, she didn't want to say her name, but then she did. And this poor woman um, got, like, attacked online because people said she was clout chasing. And she only did this for clout and for, like, her 15 minutes of fame, which I don't really think that was the case. Um, because now her, her um, profile and everything is privated. And she didn't want to do, like, an interview or anything. She didn't do any of that. She just told her truth to let it be known. Maybe to give, like, another girl a heads up. Like, if that were you, right? If this happened to you where you were dating a guy. And you were, like, hanging out every single day. He met her child. It's, I mean, if you're meeting the child, spending time with the kid. Going on, like, weekend getaways with you and your child. 
that kind of seems a little serious to me, right? In terms of relationship. And then he texts you out of the blue and says, hey, I'm really sorry, but I have to go on this venture. But don't worry. It's not really about finding love. I'm, I'm going to get opportunities from it. Wait for me. Because that's pretty much what he asked her to do. He pretty much asked her to wait for him. And then he ended up texting her, like, once the show aired and was like, yeah, I think about you all the time. I'm really sorry that things went down the way they did. You're an amazing woman. Like, after the Nate stuff came out, and I think, you know, everybody's kind of talking and saying that. That was kind of him, like, covering his butt because he knew that these text messages were out there. And, like, now he's supposedly, spoiler alert with Gabby and engaged and he knows that there's this information this bombshell that can be dropped at any time he's probably over there shaking in his boots waiting for that tea to be spilled so he kind of like text her I think when the neat stuff started coming out and being like hey hope you and your son are good you know you're an amazing woman I hope you find somebody kind of just like glazing over everything and maybe feeling her out to see where her head was at because, like, he told her that this was what he, you know, planned to do was go on The Bachelor and then, you know, was talking to her, going back and forth with her. And then when she tried to, like, respond to him, it went green. Like, y- you could tell that his phone was no longer on and he wasn't receiving the messages because he was on The Bachelor. That's how soon from the, the time the you know, the timestamps of when he told her that he was going to do this to when he did it. Hot Mess Express. Literally Hot Mess Express. So like I was saying, if it was you and a man did that to you and he ended up on The Bachelor and you knew that he was engaged to a woman out of girl code, would you say something? Would you bring it online? Would you tell Reality Steve? Would you reach out to like outlets, uh, T outlets? Would you post it on your own page or would you just stay quiet? and not say anything at all. Maybe it was her just kind of letting Gabby know, like, hey, the person that you're about to be married to did this to me, and I have a child, and, you know, if he didn't have enough respect for me, he might do it to you, you know? Maybe it was just a situation like that. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you would do. I want to know. For me, it's tough. If I felt a connection to this person, I just brought my mic a little closer. So with Gabby, I feel a connection to her. So like I have respect for her as a woman, not to say that I don't for like Rachel, I think she's an amazing girl too, woman, excuse me. Um, you know, and I feel I, I, I in my opinion, would want to know that if it were me and like I just got engaged to somebody and he didn't, hopefully he told Gabby, that would be best case scenario, right? If Gabby comes out and he, she's like, oh yeah, he told me. Great. Wonderful. But we haven't heard that yet. We haven't heard anything from Gabby's side, but I don't think she really can because the season hasn't ended yet. So there's still one episode that we'll see this Tuesday. Um, and supposedly it's, you know, her, her happy ending and she deserves that bless her sweetheart she's going to be on dancing with the stars that was announced i can't wait to see it and i really wanted her partner to be who it is um what's his name it starts with a v he's got jenna who also is on the show that's now pregnant with his child they're the cutest couple but um i think gabby's gonna do really good but charlie d'amelio's on the show too and she's like an amazing dancer so it's almost like is that fair for charlie to be on the show what do you guys think She's an amazing dancer already. You know, that that's like her main love and that's what she did before TikTok and kind of what she's known for besides being like a huge TikToker. She's known for her dancing. So it's kind of like an advantage and she's super young and has the energy and I don't know. Um, but I'm really excited to watch regardless. But it's on Disney. You have to like buy the Disney app now. I'm like, oh, another app that I have to pay for. I have to really go through my apps and be like, okay, do you need this? Because I feel like I have a lot of auto pay happening at the moment. I have Hulu for Housewives. It's not on Netflix for whatever reason. I have Netflix. What am I watching on Netflix right now? Everything under the sun. Let me be real. Um, if you guys want me to do a separate video with like what I'm watching at the moment, I could totally do that. 
Um, but yeah, I feel like I just have money coming out from all angles. I have Discovery Plus for Long Island Medium, so I should probably cancel that and just restart it when another season premieres, because I feel like there hasn't been one in a bit, and I'm just, like, paying for it. Oh, and tea. My fiance was like, oh, can you, you know, set auto pay up for Xbox Live? His Xbox has been broken for, like, two years, and I just found out today I've been being charged this whole time. Do you know how many Starbucks coffees that is? I can't even. Anyway. Where was I? Oh, yeah. I think I would want to know if that was somebody that I planned on spending the rest of my life with. I don't think I'd be mad at a girl for coming and telling me that. I really don't. I think I would respect it. As long as it was done in a professional manner and it was being done for the right reasons, you know? Um, not just to get like 15 minutes of fame or a cloud or something like that. So that's that. That's Eric and Gabby. We'll have to see how that unfolds and see if she says anything and addresses it or if he will once the season ends. If they do, I'll be reporting the tea. Now we have Rachel and Tino. Rachel and Tino, the tea. Oh my god, the tea is so hot. So Rachel and Tino is supposedly engaged, okay? Everything's great. They leave. As we know, her parents, his parents don't like her. So it already is kind of like jaded a little bit. It's kind of like not the best start to have, especially with a relationship that's from TV and you don't really know each other and there's going to be so much like so much against you to have that in the mix is kind of like you know but I wish them the best but it shows them arguing and people did a little sleuthing and figured out that they're arguing at a safe house so a safe house is where they go after the show from the time that the show airs um, show stops to the show airs they have to hide to see each other and uh, ABC will provide a safe house that they can go to for the weekend well, they rented an Airbnb, and the people that owned the Airbnb went online and, like, wrote a review about ABC and The Bachelor and said that there was a lot of fighting and that the tenants were, like, awful and disturbing the peace and all of the above. And people put the dates together from the date that um, this review was made from the people who own the Airbnb and when Rachel and Tino should have been there and they match up. And in the review, you know, the Airbnb owners say they were filming, you know, they, they allude to the fact that it was, you know, it, there was really no question that it was The Bachelor that was being filmed, The Bachelorette. Um, and in the preview, you can see that where it's being filmed it looks like a safe house and you can see Rachel and Tino fighting and like, you know, she's like, I want to know what you did, you know, lie to my face one more time. You can see that there's a very heated argument. So, I mean, the narrative kind of fits, right? From the review to what we've seen in the previews and the timeline, it all kind of adds up. Well, the T is the word on the street, the bachelor streets, is that Tino went to a bar. I guess their relationship wasn't going so well. Supposedly, Rachel gave the ring back before this, before any cheating, gave the ring back because there wasn't a lot of good communication. They were arguing about things and was like, I think we should take a step back and just date. Not be engaged, not break up, but just date. And then eventually get to engagement once we, you know, work through our problems. Well, I guess during that time, during after, you know, Tino wasn't too happy about this. He wasn't thrilled, but he was like, what am I supposed to do? I don't want her to leave me. So it's better than being broken up. So he agreed. Well, he went out to a bar and kissed another woman and supposedly came clean to Rachel about it. And that is the argument that we see take place in the previews. And supposedly they break up. So, yeah, that's kind of like a very short rundown of the very long, dramatic, you know, extra season finale that we are going to see. Um, but I'm excited to like see them on stage together and get all the missing pieces. Are they still together? Did they work it out? Did they not? Um, she kind of looked like her like dog died on the first part of the season finale. She just looked 
you know, very stoic compared to, to Gabby. Gabby was all smiles. Um, I wish the best for both of them. I hope they both find the love that they deserve. Um, and I hope Gabby and Eric can work through this. And I hope that he was open and honest with her and told her about this girl because Gabby seems like the girl that would be cool with it. Be like, oh, you know, things happen. Um, but let me know what you think. I want to know what you think. Do you think they're both still in their relationships? Do you think Gabby and Eric are going to move past this? Um, I just wish we knew if she knew, but we're not going to know that right now until things air because contractually, there's a contractionally, contractually, you know what I'm talking about, because of contracts and because it's still airing, there's things that they can't address until, until the show is over. So we'll have to wait and see, but Eric's in a lot of, a lot of heat between the thing blackface and, you know, all of that. So he's already under a lot of scrutiny and as he should be, um, you know, people make mistakes in life and they can do better and hopefully he will. Um, but it's just a lot at once coming out. Poor Gabby. Um, I know her grandpa's over there like, I'll knock you out, son. Don't you play my granddaughter. Don't mess with Grandpa John. Don't you mess with Grandpa John. And, uh, yeah, so I'm excited to see both ends play out. I'll be back Tuesday night to go over the finale. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.